Here at Battery Box, we got bored and decided to figure out if we could charge a Samsung Galaxy S3 using potatoes. Did it work? Here's how we did it. To power a cell phone, we needed the potato battery to give out a minimum of 5 volts and 20 milliamps. After doing some calculations, we went out and bought 110 pounds of potatoes, 36 feet of copper, 36 feet of zinc metal piping, and of course, a Samsung S3. To start assembling our potato battery, we first cut up the potatoes into small pieces. After that, we boiled them. Boiling the potatoes increases the amount of ions, or energy, that is able to be transferred between the anode and cathode of the battery. After patiently waiting for the potatoes to boil, we started harnessing the full power of the potato. To create a galvanic cell, all the cut potatoes were combined with zinc and copper. Once combined, each potato had an open circuit voltage of 0.9 volts and was able to give out a current of 0.3 to 0.6 milliamps. Next, we positioned the potato cells into a battery pack configuration of 6 in series and 40 in parallel to achieve the needed power requirements. After this, we stripped a USB cable and connected it to our office-made potato battery. The results? Success! The phone accepted power from the potato battery and began charging.